In this video you will learn how to make Python speak in English and other languages. We will create a Python program that converts any text we provide into speech. Python provides hundreds of thousands of packages that allow developers to write pretty much anything you want. Two cross-platform packages you can use to convert text into speech are PYTTSX3 and GTTS. We will start with the PYTTSX3 module. Let's see what happens if we try to import the module without installing it. As you can see, we're getting a module not found error because the module PYTTSX3 is not installed. We can use pip to install the module using the command pip install PYTTSX3. We are using the PYTTSX3 module because it's compatible with both Python 2 and 3. There is also another module called PYTTSX without the 3 at the end, but it's not compatible with both Python 2 and 3. Let's create our first program. As you can see, first we import the PYTTSX3 module. Then we initialize the PYTTSX3 engine using the function init. Then we use the save function of the engine and pass to it a message to convert into speech. All the messages passed to the save function are not said unless the Python interpreter sees a call to the run and wait function. I love Python for text to speech, and you? So, what else can we do with the PYTTSX3 library? Let's see if we can change the voice, starting from the previous program. First of all, we need to have a look at all the voices available. The list of voices available changes depending on your system. As you can see here, I'm retrieving the list voices and I'm going through each one of them printing the details. Every voice has few attributes, an ID, a name, languages, gender, age. The ID field is a unique ID that we can use to refer to that specific voice when we want to use it in our program. The languages array also shows the specific language for a given voice. Considering that our message is in English, we want to find all the voices that support English as a language. To do that, we can add an if statement inside the previous for loop. Also, to make the output shorter, we just print the ID field for each voice object in the voices list. As you can see, in the terminal we print a list of voice IDs. And we can simply select a voice using the setProperty function of the engine object. In this case, we are using the setProperty function to select the voice with id com.apple.speech.synthesis.voice.samantha.
I love Python for text to speech. And you? How does his sound compare to the previous voice? What do you think? Another thing that we can do with this library is also to change the rate, so the speed of the voice, and also its volume. I love Python for text to speech. And you? I love Python for text-to-speech. And you? Now let's move to the GTTS module. I'm actually curious to see which one is simpler to use and if there are benefits in using GTTS over PYTTSX3. As usual, we install GTTS using pip. We will run the command pip install gtts. One difference between gtts and pytts-x3 is that gtts also provides a CLI tool, gtts-cli. We can run it with the minus minus all flag to get a list of all the available languages. The first thing you can do with the CLI is to convert text into an MP3 file that you can then play using any suitable applications on your system. We will convert the same message used in the previous section. I love Python for text-to-speech. And you? Because I'm on a Mac, I will use AFPlay to play the MP3 file. I love Python for text to speech and you. The first difference I see compared to the previous library is that the comma and the question mark don't make much difference. So it's definitely one point for PYTTSX3 that definitely does a better job with this. I love Python for text-to-speech and you. I can also use the minus minus lang flag to specify a different language. Here you can see an example in Italian. The message says, I like programming in Python, and you? Mi piace programmare in Python. E a te? And now let's see how easy it is to write a Python program doing the same thing we were doing via the CLI. So we start importing the GTTS module. Then we import the OS module so we can use it to play the MP3 file generated. Then we generate the audio using the GTTS engine. 
To the GTTS engine, we are passing the message and the language. Then we save the audio in MP3 format. And finally, we play the MP3 file using the OS module and the afplay command. Remember that I'm using afplay because I'm on a Mac. You can just replace it with any utilities that can play sounds on your system. I love Python for text to speech and you. Looking at the GTTS documentation, I can also read the text more slowly, passing the slow parameter to the GTTS function. As you can see in this case, I'm passing the parameter slow equal true. Let's give it a try. I love Python for text to speech and you. And now we want to see how easy it is to change the voice with GTTS. It's even possible to customize it. It wasn't easy to find the answer to this. I've been playing a bit with parameters passed to the GTTS function, and I noticed that the English voice changes if the value of the lang parameter is en-us instead of en. Let's see how the voice is if we pass as a language en-us. I love Python for text-to-speech, and you? This time the voice seems a little bit better. It takes into account the comma and the question mark better than before. After this test it looks to me there is more variety in the voices available with PYTTSX3 compared to GTTS. Before finishing this section I also want to show you a way to create a single MP3 file that contains multiple messages in this case, in different languages. We are basically creating two different audio objects, one in English and one in Italian. And then we are writing them to the same file using the write underscore to underscore fp function. Hello. Ciao. I have one last question about text-to-speech in Python. Can we do text-to-speech offline or do we need an internet connection? If I disable my internet connection and I try to run the GTTS program, I get the following error. So GTTS doesn't work without a connection because it requires access to translate.google.com. Now let's rewrite quickly the program that was using PYTTSX3 and let's run it without internet connection. Hello. 
As you can see, the program works well. So if you want to make Python speak offline, use the library PYTTSX3. We have done a lot in this video. You have seen how to use two cross-platform Python modules, PYTTSX3 and GTTS, to convert text into speech. We also went through the customization of voice, rate, volume and language. And from what I can see from the program we created, the module PYTTSX3 is more flexible than GTTS. And you, how are you planning to use this knowledge? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get notified every time I release a new Python tutorial, hit the subscribe button. Once again, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Also, if you are getting started with Python, I have created a free starter checklist for you. You can find it on the Codefather website. I will include a link to it in the description below. See you in the next video.